Hello everyone and a very very happy Independence Day from the entire team of Economics Media. आप सभी को स्वतंत्रता दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं सो इंडिपेंडेंस डे हैज गॉट अ रिमार्केबल इंपॉर्टेंस फॉर द इंटायर कंट्री स्पेशली इंडिया राइट एंड इट हैज एन अमेजिंग अमेजिंग हिस्ट्री सो टूडे लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट द डे एंड दैट इज वाई आई एम हियर टूडे टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक्स not that is has a relation uh in the sense from economics to independence day no i'm not going to talk in that angle because i'm sure you can do that from many other channels so why i'm here today today i'm here to um keep it like that uh so that our future selves can thank us that you studied this chapter on this date so that is why we are here from economics pedia to make a remarkable change in our lives as well and that is let's proceed in that way so that our future the one that we are working for today can be happy and also on this independence day we are here to give away a great announcement um from the economics media platform and it is for all of you that's right so wait till the end for this big announcement and it is an announcement that you're going to love and i hope it will definitely be changing your lives all right so coming back to today's session it's going to be a very crisp session and as you can see written on the board the name of today's session and it is about anova now why i have taken up uh, this topic is uh, that econometrics whenever we talk about econometrics think about econometrics many people get afraid right many people get afraid why uh, because there are some notations there is a very high chance where you can go for silly mistakes you know so anova it is although a very important part from econometrics especially the initial stages of econometrics but it is definitely important even when you are studying for the advanced part okay so that is why in anova we are going to discuss uh, something and uh, of course it is from economics media so you know what is our usp right that is we do it in a very crisp and simple way all right so starting with anova i am going to take a very simple example or simple model rather a uh, two variable regression model okay so we all know how it looks y i equal to alpha or we can call it beta 1 beta 2 let's say call the parameters as beta 1 beta 2 x i right and u i so let's say this is our model we also know there is a relation that exists it goes like summation of y i square is equal to summation of y i hat square rather you can uh, make it like this and at the end summation of u i hat square so let's this is the equation number 1 and this is equation 1 prime so this is what right and what is this this is known as tss this is known as ess and this is known as rss and this is a very important very famous very known relation that holds isn't it so what is this things tss it is the total sum of squares ess it is the estimated sum of squares and rss it is the residual sum of squares which is coming from the ui part this is coming from the xi part that is the explanatory variables are involved and this is coming from the yi part okay so this is a relation now we are estimating a regression model right we are talking about a regression model so in regression models of course there is a concept of degrees of freedom isn't it in my previous sessions also you have heard this term degrees of freedom even you have come across this term 
what is this degree of freedom? I'm not going to go in details. But degrees of freedom is coming from the number of observations in the, uh, or independent observations in the sample. Right? So this is coming from that. Now tell me, what is the um, degree of freedom of TSS? It has a degree of freedom of n minus 1. Why this 1 get reduced? Because of the mean part, sample mean, y bar. Okay? So that gets estimated. Next, in ESS, the degree of freedom is 1. Right? This is, again, these two are true for two variable model. That is why I have explained the model at the, at the first. Next, we have RSS. And RSS has a degree of freedom of n minus 2. Okay, why these degrees of freedom are important, I'm going to talk about it. So, this diff distinction, this um, subdivision of TSS as ESS and RSS, that means whenever we are studying the sum of squares or rather the components of the total sum of squares, that is known as analysis of variance, which is nothing but ANOVA. Okay, so the full form, those who don't know what is ANOVA is, it is the analysis of variance. We are analyzing va uh, the variance of the model in different ways. That is studying the subcomponents of TSS. Alright, okay. So now coming to F statistic. Whenever we are talking about uh, ANOVA or analysis of variance, the F statistic that is getting used is F. Okay, so F. What is the formula for F? It is mean sum of squares of ESS divided by mean sum of squares of RSS. And that is nothing but M, uh, mean sum of squares of ESS is beta 2 hat square summation of Xi divided by MSS of RSS. That is summation of Uy hat square divided by n minus 2. So this is basically also divided by 1 since it is a degree of freedom. So what is MSS is? You can write MSS is the sum of squares divided by the degree of freedom. Okay? So that is why it is coming like this. So this is the F statistic. And ultimately what you can get is that the numerator remains the same. Summation of x i square and this become sigma hat square. Right? So, this is the final estimate of equation uh, of the F statistic. Why do we need to do this? Let's say in, in uh, CLRM, what we assume that, let's say, let us assume in this way and let me form the null hypothesis for you as well. So, my hypothesis if it says like H0 let's say beta 2 equal to 0 or not. If I have to test this, that means whether xi is having a significant impact on the variation of yi or not. Right? This is the hypothesis. That is what it is saying. In this case, in order to test this, I need the f statistic. Why? Let's say this is the case. Okay? Then what happens? The numerator and the denominator, let me just write the f statistic over here. So, at the end we got it is beta 2 hat xi square sigma hat square. Right? If you find the estimated values of this. So, what is estimated value of beta 2 hat? There is a square xi square. Of course, divided by 1. It becomes what? It is sigma square plus we can find it is beta 2 and summation of xi. There is a uh, simplification of this. If you are really wanting to know that then just use the comment box to let me know or um, you can also see the comment box. The description box is there. The details of contacting us is appearing there. Alright. Now next if I find the estimate of sigma hat square it is ultimately coming to this part. Now, if this is the case, if this is the case, then we can say that my numerator, let's say this is my 3 and this is my 4. So, 3 and 4 are identical. In that case, what we can say that xi is not having 
any impact on the variation of yi because this this part but if let's say this is my case where beta 2 is not equal to 0 okay and then we, what we can find that these two are different equation 3 and 4 the values will be different and in that case we can say that yes xi is having some impact or it is affecting in the variation of yi so what we can say is that in order to test for the hypothesis whether it is correct or not i have to take the statistic test statistic and here the test statistic is f test statistic all right and on the basis of that we are making this comparison okay so now quickly to sum it up let me just give you the ANOVA table how it looks like why it is important I have already discussed how it is important I have already discussed how the table looks like let me just give you that okay so here is the table for two variable model the one that we are discussing in this session okay uh, so the table goes like source of variation okay then we have the degrees of freedom then we have the sum of squares and then we have mean sum of squares. So what are the sources of variation? We have one source of variation which is arising due to the estimated sum of squares. That is due to regression. This is ESS. What was the degree of freedom? It was 1. And what is the sum of squares? It was summation of yi hat square. So this is what? It is ultimately coming as beta 2 hat square summation of xi, right? Summation of xi square, okay? And ultimately, so what is MSS? MSS is sum of squares divided by degree of freedom. That means in my MSS also, it is beta 2 hat square summation of xi square, okay? Next source of variation is RSS. What is the degree of freedom of RSS? It is n minus 2. So what is the sum of squares? It was summation of ui hat square which is coming as sigma hat square. Or oh, let's just erase this part. So this is the sum of squares, right? And how the MSS is becoming? It is summation of ui hat square divided by the degree of freedom. And the last one which is the sum of these two that is TSS. What is the degree of TSS? It is n minus 1. If you add this, it is becoming that. And next, we have summation of yi square. Okay, so this is how the table of uh, ANOVA looks like. For two variable model, it is a very uh, easy model that we have taken up so that you can grasp the concept of it. Alright, so coming to the end part of this session and here it goes, the big announcement from Economicspedia is that on this Freedom Day, on this Day of Freedom, we are announcing that we are going to launch a course, that's right, an entire course of econometrics. That's right, because we have been receiving a tons of uh, queries and so many things. So here is a gift on this Independence Day to all of you out there that we are going to launch the course on econometrics. The details, the, everything will be coming up soon. Just stay tuned and um, thank you so much. This wouldn't have been possible if you were not there supporting us uh, on, a, on a very next level. Thank you so much. I hope this session was helpful to you and if it is make sure you hit the like button and if you're new to our channel press the subscribe button and also the bell beside it so that you never miss any update from our page and use the comment box to let me know how excited you are after listening to this amazing announcement. Till then I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so much.